Hydro treatment is one of the most important processes whenever we're talking about cleaning or clean fuels because hydro treatment removes most of the sulfur, most of the nitrogen, most of the oxygen, and most of the metals present in crude oil. So as I stated before, we have and we already seen the typical components of crude oil, and there are a certain amount of materials that we don't want to have as our final fuels. The most important one of all is sulfur. Sulfur will typically burn to form sulfur dioxide and then it will form other oxides and further will form acidic material, which we don't want. Let's say that we ignore the government regulations about uh, sulfur fuels. We also don't want that material inside of our refinery because the catalyst will get poisoned. Either if you have high amount of metals or if you have a high amount of sulfur, maybe it's forming a lot of tar or coke. So you want to avoid to have, let's say, not clean fuels. We're going to see what's hydro treatment. Remember, hydro treatment is essentially a treatment that has hydrogen and will remove sulfur as hydrogen sulfide, will remove nitrogen as ammonia, will remove oxygen as water vapors. Then we're going to continue to understand the process conditions. Typically, we will need to have a high amount of hydrogen makeup. The hydrogen comes from the catalytic reformer. We're going to see that later on. And then we have four main cuts that we want to treat. Number one is naphtha. We want to remove most of the sulfur content, which is not that high. Then we continue with kerosene or jet fuels. And then we continue with diesel. Actually, diesel is the interesting one because it does contain a certain amount of sulfur present. So hydro treatment of, salt, uh, of diesel is very important. And then we continue with the residue, which you already know as the residue increases in density, we increase the impurities densities or content, and we must remove that. Why? Because eventually what you want to do is send, let's say your fuel oils, not that high on sulfur content, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this section. This is more for the environmental side, but it's also important for the process engineer to know why it's important to remove the impurities and what's the effect if we don't do so.